Okay, I'm going to show you how to correct your um, garment if you're doing a rip stitch and you accidentally do a um, purl where there's supposed to be a knit, and I did in this garment. And you will see at, let's see if I can get it to focus. You will see it right there. See it? How to fix that? What you want to do is you want to follow it up to where the peg is that caused the problem, which would be this peg right here. Make sure nope I don't think that's it okay so we're gonna follow that up ah it's this one you want to make sure also, keep in mind your pearl look on this side is actually a knit, and when your knit look on your inside is actually a pearl. So I know that this is a, a mess up in the knit, so that lines up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo it. I'm going to take it off the hook. Alright, now what I want to do is I want to undo it to the point of the... Um, See if I've gotten it that far now. I want to undo it to the point of the okay, and just a little past. All right, I'm right here now. Next thing you want to do is you want to take a crochet hook and you want to find that last loop you can grab hold of. Okay, and then you're gonna pull that through. All right, now if you're correcting a pearl you want to work this on the inside if you're correcting a knit like this you want to work it on the positive side which is this side all right so what you're going to do is you're going to find your next bridge or leg and you're going to pull it through find your next bridge or leg and pull it through. Now I will tell you that doing a replacement on the knit is a little more challenging than doing it on a purl side. Send it through and pull it through. Send it under and pull it through. Send it under, pull it through, send it under, pull it through, and you're going to do this all the way to the top. And this is how you go in and correct it without having to frog it, redo the whole garment. Trust me, there's tricks to all things. When I run across them now, I'll try to make sure that I'm showing you all the tricks to save yourself time in correcting a mistake. Okay. And there gets a point where it starts getting a little bit more difficult because you're working to closer to the top. And you just keep working as close as you can. You just keep grabbing and pulling it through as much as you can. said the doing it the knit way is a little bit trickier than doing it fixing a pearl okay now if you feel like at some point you can't do it anymore what you want to do is try and slide the hook up 
and then pull this through. Okay. Now, what will happen now is when you get to this point, what you want to do is pull all these as neatly as you can up and over. All right. Then you're going to pull that there. All right. So you're going to put all those legs that you just had up and over. And then you're going to pull that stitch on. Now, what you're going to do now is try to find your next stitch. And you're going to send it up above that stitch you just placed and then toss it over. Okay. And then you're going to go and hunt down the next one and you're going to stick it above the actual stitch. If this makes any sense. You're going to stick it above that stitch and toss over. Okay. It looks like I should have two more. Alright. There's my next one. Stick it above that makes any sense above the stitch toss it over and here's my last one stick it above the stitch and toss it over and I have just corrected that stitch as you can see there you go that is how you correct your knit stitch that you have accidentally purled. Now, if you have the other going on, you release the stitch again. If you have a purl that you knitted, you release the stitch again and you release it back. But as I said, keep in mind when you're looking, a purl it looks like a knit on the inside, okay? And a knit looks like a purl on the inside. So this is the inside and this is the outside. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna do the same technique that you did for the knit here, except you're gonna flip it inside out and you're gonna take the stitch off and you're gonna pull it back and you're gonna do the exact same technique all the way up because your purl is a um, knit stitch on the inside okay so you can do the crochet thing but it's a little easier to do the purl correction than it is the knit correction because you don't have to pull those legs up and do that toss over thing you can actually go all the way up and that is how you go about correcting your rib stitch without having to frog the whole thing and go over it again so there's a nice little trick for you